Let me play something. There's the phrase, do it for the culture. Yes. Uh, we're going to look at you looking at this. Yes. Let's play this. Right now, you're doing something for the culture. So I'm doing that for the culture, Bob. Just kind of putting stuff forward. Oh, baby. Uh, do it for the culture. Do it for the culture. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it a little slower. Like, oh, B to the SA. That's the anthem. Holla Get your damn hands up. I do this for my culture. For the culture. Got to do it for the culture. Do it for the culture. Tell them do it for the culture. Got to do it for the culture. Once and for all, tell us, what does that mean? Do it for the culture means, well... Nothing. Nothing. No, it means nothing. nothing. In, 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 in essence... It, it means wait, nothing. I, it it can't mean nothing. Fair. No, that's not fair. <laughs> originally, originally, it was not doing it because you wanted to be famous or doing it for money, but I do this for, for the forwarding the art of hip hop. <laughs> when Hall said it, it meant no, that. When we prepared, way, you, well, hang on. You it's mentioned, a, by the way, hip hop is an extension of, hip hop has always been an extension of the voice of not only the black nationalist movement, but also the community of the greater community of street culture, mm. right? Whether you were black or Jewish or Puerto Rican in New York City, this was youth culture creating new things out of things that already existed, right? That sampling and records and chopping records. So you were creating something new out of something that was already there, right? That was what people were trying to do. So I think that is in essence what it started at. When Hove said, I do it for my culture, he meant that. He meant yes. that. Now, do it for the culture. It's just thrown it, it around. It's just thrown around. I, I got to tell you, what, and, and by the way, whatever your culture is, that could, could be, be any culture. That could be strip club culture, that could be shopping culture, that could be sneaker. Culture. They have sneaker culture, right? There's, There's big sneaker culture. Well, yeah. it's funny because you mentioned our producer, Samantha, who worked hard on, on getting this all together. When we put that montage together, I was not expecting your answer to be. Nothing. <laughs> it don't mean nothing. I mean, it's um, supposed to mean a lot. It's, it means so much. But um, people have overused it like we've overused a lot of things. All I want to say is we love having you here. Thanks for being generous with your time. That's the most valuable commodity, doing it, doing it for the news. We do it for the news. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and good luck at Summer Jam. <laughs> Thank you. Sunday. So we, do it, we do it for the ticket sales. You know what I'm saying? Years. We do it for the revenue. Well, let me on tell you Sunday. what we don't do it for. We hope for the ticket sales. We do <laughs> it for the culture. Yeah, there's a lot doing for the culture. There man. it is. Thank you guys. Thanks, man. Thanks. I wish I made extra money doing that damn show. Well, that's your fault. <laughs> you call your agent. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. And we appreciate that.